Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 3rd, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we did fall at the end of the U.S. session, and it looks like now we're heading towards the middle of the bullish band, which is down here at 4,134. Break below that could open the door to the very bottom of the bullish band at the 4,070, and the 50 moving average down here at the 4,000. That is probably as far as this will go. If you look at Technical Indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still in bullish territory, but crossing the signal line. Stochastic is bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. And the RSI is showing bearish momentum. So we got fairly overstretched here. We got to the top of the bullish band. Also the, got to overbought conditions. And uh, it looks like we're basically pulling back. So a big... Uh, earnings have basically been um, been uh, shown the last few few weeks, and they have not really managed to uh, break significantly to the upside. So, so um, a pullback could be expected. If we rally from here, then four thousand three hundred, four thousand five hundred, probably will most likely be our targets. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So similar here to Dow Jones, it fell towards the middle of the bullish band and found support there. If you look at technical indicators, they are far more bearish than they are for the S&P 500. So a break below the middle of the bullish band could open the door to the bottom, which is at 33,417 at this current stage. And break below that, we'll have the 50 moving average. And that's probably as far as it will go as that has been major support in the past. It has additionally broken below that, but it has rallied, and but that should be as far as it goes down here at the 32.920. To the upside, 35,000 uh, 35, is probably going to be our long-term target in the next month. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has been trending basically sideways. Uh, the highs here of uh, 14,080 down towards uh, 30, uh, 13,600, or 13,700, I should say. So at the moment, we are just hovering right at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are becoming bearish. So we have been in a, a bullish run for basically uh, nearly a month now, more than a month. We bottom here in in the beginning of March, and then we have basically been rallying all the way to to May. So we could see a pullback here, but it probably won't go further down to uh, to um, thirteen thousand three hundred. So around this area here, there should be massive support, as this was a major resistance in the past, and this is also where we broke out to the upside. So we could drop towards this level, but expect. A pullback from there. So, long term rally here will most likely be 14,500 and for 15,000 and probably 16,000 in the next few months. So, let's look at the German DAX. So, German DAX um, also fell. Uh, this is looking much more bearish than uh, the US indices. Probably the reason because the uh, the eurozone is technically still in recession. So uh, GDP numbers for the eurozone were worse than expected. And um, at the moment, it is still in recession. So we could see this tumble towards the 50 moving average, which is down here at 14,780. It has offered support in the past. So Technically, it took those you know, that data took uh, the air out of this balloon. It has been in a massive rally all the way since the beginning of March, and now it looks like it's uh, pulling back. If we rally from here, then we'll most likely go to fifteen thousand five hundred and then to sixteen thousand. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for the German DAX. So UK one hundred. Here we go. So. We did rally in the beginning of the of the trading session, and then we fell, and then we rallied yet again. So the middle of the bullish band is a significant support for uh, the UK 100. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. So as long as the middle of the bullish band is holding, 
it will gradually go higher and higher and higher. So long-term target here will most likely be 7,250. Uh, 7, Break below the middle of the bullish band, it could open the door to the 50 moving average down here at 6,783. So let's look at the China, China 50. So this had a horrible day on Friday. It uh, rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then gave most of those gains back and it ended up in deep red. And uh, as you can see, technical indicators are turning around. We're still in negative territory here in the MACD. It's still above the signal line. Stochastic is bear, uh, bullish and the CCI is becoming bearish and the RSI is uh, bearish as well at this uh, current stage. So we could see this uh, roll over and head back towards the bottom, which is the 200 moving average at 16,821. Rallies above the 50 moving average could open the door to 18,000 and 90,000 and then beyond. But um, crackdown in the Chinese tech companies and so on, that is not something that is very good for their stock market. And you can also see that here. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're also welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.